Hey everybody, Jackie here. Today we've got Frank to help you tune up your computer. So grab a wrench and let's get to work. Welcome to TN TuneUp. This week we will discuss uh, various uses for the function keys F1 through F12 on your keyboard in a Windows environment. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with F1. F1 is the most commonly used key on a keyboard just for the simple fact that it brings up help no matter in what program you're in. There you go. It brings up Windows help and support. Um, and just pull down the help content from the internet here. Okay, the use of the F2 button. F2 is the most basically and easiest way to change uh, folder names or shortcut names you have on your desktop. Pretty much select an item that you would like and you hit F2 and it automatically puts the rename. All right, the use of the F3 key, um, the, it doesn't really do a lot, but I did find out that it'll actually help you search your computer. There it goes. And it'll search through your entire computer. There's a little drop down box right here. You could switch it to certain files that you're searching th for, either files, web images, videos, or you could just click on everywhere and it'll search everything that your computer is connected to for, to whatever file you would like. Okay, the F4 key will pretty much bring you to a location bar. Uh, most commonly used in Internet Explorer or any other browser. Um, up top, where you usually type in google.com, it's just a shortcut to get to that is fa like really fast. And as soon as you get up there, you could type in whatever you would like and it pulls up all the websites you're on. Um, if you also, you hit, can hit Control F4, and it'll actually close out whatever tab you're working on, or in this case, since I only had one tab open, it'll just close out Internet Explorer altogether. The F5 key is a refresh key that works in numerous pieces of software uh, in any, any Internet Explorer browser you're on. Okay, and say you wanted to refresh said page, you would just hit or, uh, Shift, or uh, sorry, just F5 on your keyboard and it would refresh the entire page like you just typed to go to it again. The F6 key does the same thing as the F4 key. Um, it just brings you back up to the title bar, just highlights whatever selected up there. The biggest use for the F7 button would be for spell check. If you are out there and you are having issues spelling things like I am, this is a throttle net video. Okay, so Microsoft Office doesn't know what ThrottleNet is, so it will just, you hit, or you hit your F7 button, it'll bring up your spelling and grammar check, and there you can do your various options from within there. The F8 key, um, I can't show you on video, is usually whenever uh, your computer is booting up, and if a tech support, or if you're having issues with your computer, you can boot it into safe mode. Safe mode is just a basic version, uh, basic way for Windows to load with various, uh, with minimal drivers to just help troubleshooting things. The F9 key um, honestly doesn't have any functionality in Windows. F10 will work as the same thing as a right click. You just hit Shift F10, and this would be like right clicking at the end where the cursor was in Word here. The F11 key, if you are in a browser and would like to look at things full screen, you can hit F11 and it'll make everything maximized and you hit the same key combination again. It will bring everything back down that way. Your start bar and your title bar across the top comes back. The F12 key is most commonly used in Microsoft Word or Word-related software. Um, if you just hit F or F12 itself, it'll bring up your Save As box, which there it is. You can click on the location you would like to save it. You can name it and everything else. The Shift F12 is after you have saved something. You do a lot of work to it and like to save it automatically. You just hit Shift F12. It'll automatically save it for you. Okay, and now you're all tuned up. Thank you for watching T and TuneUp, and we look forward to seeing you next week.